Jesus Christ. This is the time that Almighty God is going to disgrace the enemies that has been working against you, who does not want to see you with anything. The enemy that has taken away your children, the enemy that has taken away your family, the enemy that has put sickness in you, this is the time to bring them down. This is the time you are going to talk to those, those wicked power to get out in the name of Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. I'm going to record this. It is going to be in YouTube. It's going to be in a, in a, in a live stream. So I'm recording now. Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you because you are worthy. You are God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Omnipotent, you are God. There is no one like you. I thank you and I give you all the glory. I welcome everyone who has come to join with me and press with us. This is the time that we are going to bring down powers of darkness, forces of darkness that has been working against your life in the name of Jesus. This is your host, Reverend Dr. Christine Sigi. I am a deliverance minister and I'm going to pray with you this tonight, this midnight. Midnight, midday is a very powerful time that you can disgrace your enemies. I'm telling you that the power of God is, is at work. It's one, if you know enemies that does not want to let you go, this is the time we are going to speak to that mountain and it will be removed. By the power that created heaven and the heart, I'm going to show you the scripture from the book of First uh, King 18 verse 27. First King 18 verse 27. You read or you turn up the Bible, you can read at home. The Bible says, And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry loud, for he is a God. Either he is talking or he is persuading or he is in a channel or revenge. He speaks his sleep and it must be wet. You see, the noon time, you know, Elijah called the 400 witch, witch doctors, called them, and said, if you have power, call your God, call him and let him burn this meat. Now, to prove that the witches and wizards, they have no power, here is what Elijah told them, come and practice your power. I want to see if you have your power. And then the witches, they did the prayed from morning to up to noon. And then, and then Elijah mocked them. He told them, call your God, maybe he's sleeping. Maybe he has gone for a channel. Call him, he's coming to help you. But they, they, their God did not answer. Their God does not answer. Therefore, children of God, any power that is troubling you, it is an end. Mock them. Mock your power, the, the enemy that is working against your life. Tell them today is your end. Call your God. Ask that sickness. Ask that problem that is affecting your life. Talk to that problem. Call the name and tell that problem. If it is cancer, ask that cancer. If you can provide anything. Just don't stay with that problem. Mock that problem. Command that cancer to melt by fire. You see, God, Elijah called God. God and they said that God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, today you will show you, you will show these witches, you will disgrace them, you will disgrace their powers, and surely their powers were disgraced. All 400 witchcraft, very powerful, they were eliminated, they were cult, they were Freemason, they were powerful witchcraft, but the Bible tells us that Elijah requested them to call their God and to and show if God can, 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 can if their God can work, if, if their God is a living God, if their God is, has power, than the God of Elijah. Therefore, children of God, we serve a living God with power. We serve a living God who answers by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, our God answers by fire. 
And the God of Elijah who answered by fire is coming to answer you by fire. He's coming to destroy any sickness, any diseases in your life. He's coming to melt any mountain that you are facing. God of Elijah is here. That's why God of Elijah, you don't joke with God of Elijah. God Elijah was calling fire and he consumed every enemy. Remember, when the 50 came to call him down, he said, if, if I am a child of God, if I am a man of God, let the fire come. And if the fire came and consumed the 50, therefore, God of Elijah is the same God that we serve. We call fire to destroy every witchcraft kind of material in your body, every power that is working against you. I call God of Elijah to, to melt them. Any situation you are facing here, today, I'm calling God of Elijah to burn them to ashes. In the name of Jesus, any witchcraft, domestic witchcraft around your period, around your compound, around you, I call the fire of God to burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. Remember the Bible says, serve not the witch to read. That is where the man of God, Elijah, when he, he was reading this scripture from Ephesus, he, saw, he knew that the Bible, God himself does not want the witch to read. Therefore, I'm calling this witch, and it, uh, for sure, Elijah put it, all those witches dead. Therefore, any power working against you, behind witchcraft, let them be burned to ashes. The same fire of God of Elijah is the same fire that he can come and destroy any power that is working against you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. Meet at no time. It is the time that we worship God and we, we mock our enemies. The enemies that is troubling you, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let God of Elijah visit them in the name of Jesus Christ. The one time is the time you disgrace your enemies. Because you see, they, these witches, there were 400, the strongest witches ever, who came, who had, who had record. You, there are some witches who does not have even rockets. They are not known, but the, these were known witchcraft, really witchcraft. But the Bible tells us that Elijah knocked them and tells them, Oh, call your God, cry out, speak out. Let that problem that is in you be melted by fire of Elijah. Let God of Elijah rise and destroy every works of the devil in your life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you by the power that is created heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Let me give you some prayer point here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God, you are so good, my Father. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I praise your name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray by the power of Elijah, by the power that God of Elijah, who, who answer by fire, God of Elijah, who answer by fire, go to the camp of the enemies, who is wandering, who is, who is bringing trouble to this family. Let God of Elijah, let the fire of God of Elijah go and burn them to ashes. Remember, hey, the Bible says, suffer not the witch to live. Don't let the witch to, to put the witchcraft in you and destroy you. Some people, they don't believe witchcraft. Congratulations. But the truth of the matter, there is witchcraft and there is wicked power. This is where the Bible is telling us, if you read this, the book of, 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 of the book of uh, First Kings 18, you will see they are called witchcraft. So there is witchcraft. Whether you believe or you don't believe, there is witchcraft. If you read the whole of Psalms, Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. There is, if you read that book of First, first, first King, you will see the word witchcraft. There were 400 witchcraft who were, who were, who were, who were called by Elijah. I have told them, come and show your power. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. God of Elijah appeared. And now Elijah told them, call your God. May be sleeping. May cry loud. The Bible says he mocked them. Mock your enemies. Mock them. Just mock them. Noon time. Noon day. Mid, mid day. 
is when you have power to talk to your enemy. You've been suffering a lot. You have been going through so much. It is your time to mock your enemies. Don't sit, don't sit down and watch the enemy destroy your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, help me to mock the enemies. Enemies, the wicked powers, forces, things have been done to people. Works of the devil has been tormenting people so much. Do you, do you believe what the enemy is doing to you? And you are sitting down, you are watching. You have been going to, from preachers, pastors to upon pastors. You have not go to read uh, uh, that first king and see what happened. Elijah had to put all those 400 witches dead. Because the Bible says, don't let the witch to live. Some of them not live. They, hallelujah. God has warned that there is no witchcraft. There is no enchantment against you. Read Numbers 23, 23. The Bible says there shall be no enchantment against you. Call your name. There is no enchantment against Christine. There will be no witch against me because their work is finished. I am mocking them by the power and the blood of Jesus. Read, Rome, read, read Numbers 23, 23. You see there is no enchantment. You know this Numbers 23, 23. Uh, uh, the man called Barak hired a man called Baram to come and cast the children of Israel. God told them, you cannot cast the one I bless. Terrible. That's why no witchcraft, no powers of darkness, that will cast you. I am taking out, I am breaking every curse that has been cast. Every power that is casting you, I break them in the name of Jesus. That is what the Bible says. When this Barak hired Baram to come and cast the children of Israel, ba Baram did not, he was not able to cast the children of Abraham, the children of, e of Israel, because God has blessed them. Now, when they say cause, they say cast. Where they say cast, they say cause. Therefore, I am taking authority. Whatever your forefather did, now the curse is working in your life. I break them. I break them. I break them. I break every curse. Any curses working in your life, I break them. Any witchcraft working in your life, I remove them. I remove them in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give you all the glory. This is Reverend Dr. Christine Isiki. I'm a deliverance minister. I can drive out the demon. If you are a sovereign with the witchcraft, call me. I will run them from you in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You don't let the witches be continue tormenting you. You don't want to live in powers of forces being torturing you. You can call me. I will bring. I will pray for you. I don't charge anybody. Just this is free gift that was given free, and I give it free. My God has been provided for me all through since I started this ministry. Therefore, don't fear. In the name of Jesus Christ, I know that people they are being tormented. People are living miserable life because of powers of forces of darkness. Every powers of every forces of darkness in your house, in your life, in your compound, I destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I lend them powers. Today you will be set free. If you have never been sleeping, midnight, midnight, midday, it is your time to mock every works of the devil in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. I'm not going to stay long because I know people are going back to work. I am here to pray for you. Meet you midnight tonight. We are going to war against these wicked powers of forces. Remember, we have 40 days. Pray uh, throughout the year until the next, the next year. Because this time is the time the devil is resting up to destroy the, the, the people. It's when he wants blood. He wants to drink a lot of blood. The devil works with the blood. He wants more power. So he wants to, to shed more blood so that he can have more power. This is the time they cause a lot of accidents and triggered in the roads. So you are going to, to, to come and join me and let's pray together in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. Meet you midnight again. I'm going to do fire prayer. The fire prayer is coming. Fire prayer, really 